You remember? Mm -hmm. We well, cut wheel all the time. What I'm gonna do with this is probably weld around it and regrind it to make it where you won't see the yeah. rear section deleted. Now I'm gonna clean everything up and we'll figure out how we're gonna make this. I think we're gonna use if it's long enough. If not, we'll basically cut this plate off and reuse it on a new piece of tube. Maybe, I don't know. We're gonna see. I think this place still will work. Well, guys, we got horrible, horrible news. Uh, we had this old SanDisk memory card and for a long time, it would uh, when I'd put it in my computer, it was very hard to get to read. I never did throw it away. I just kept it around for those times when we're in the middle of a build and our memory card gets full. I've needed to order another 64 gig card. Well, I uh, went to go put it in the computer to edit this video and every bit of the footage of the swing arm build is gone. The whole memory card would not read. It continued to error. I tried it about 50 times and finally I just had to throw the memory card away and I've tried everything. I even took the memory card apart pulled a little circuit board out of it and tried to plug just that in and it ended up having a crack in the circuit board. I don't know how that happened. We never stepped on it or anything. <sighs> so uh, I am so sorry the swing arm build uh, is pretty much non-filmed but it's a simple swing arm build and we will be building the same exact one on the other Monster Moto so I'll make sure I did order a, new, a few new memory cards. So please forgive me guys. On back to the video. We're going to mount these. Everybody's been wanting us to use these shocks. And they're pretty sweet. I like them. Uh, I mean, I like the way they look. But we're going to mount these puppies. And this is just a test area. Of course, we don't know exactly where the best spot for, you know, the right compression. A little bit of paint still right there. I like the gold shocks all the way around. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna look awesome. So I know I didn't show a ton of this swing arm being built, but basically we cut the tabs off the original forks, and then we use some, uh, I think it's eighth inch thick walled, uh, one and a half inch tubing. Then that's a 14 gauge piece of tubing because I ran out of the eighth inch stuff. I gusted, of course, on each side. Go Power Sports made those bearing uh, flanges there they got a three quarter inch inside diameter bearing in each side and then we just cut these tabs out a quarter inch and uh, welded them on there so now Lonnie uh, well we just mounted the shock Lonnie's drilling out the other shock tabs right now so once we get that done we can mount up the other shock pull the bike up off the lift and set on it but the thing looks sweet it's probably extended by 10 inches. It's going to be pretty awesome. I might brace this down to the frame again. It just, I don't know how well their shocks are, or their welds, but uh, ooh, look at Lonnie. But uh, yeah, so we'll get this thing, the other shock mounted on, and then we'll set on it and see how much, you know, if the shocks need moved forward or back or anything. Uh, I pulled the other stock Monster Moto. Uh, side by side to this one and it's such a massive difference this bike is huge 58 inch wheelbase and uh, I'll measure out the stock monster moto to compare them I mean you can tell the camera doesn't do it justice but how much bigger that bike is it completely dwarfs the stock monster moto 212 the forks look so much beefier and have at least three or four more inches of uh, travel in them it just looks amazing so I ran out of welding wire yesterday, so what I've, I need to fully weld all my shock tabs and round the corner so they look a little nicer. And then I need to, I want to weld the back sides of these uh, swing arm mounts. And then there's one weld right there that I haven't welded.
So the uh, full suspension trail. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. So the full suspension Monster Moto is done, and I'm waiting to finish the engine. The engines. So we have to mount the oil cooler, oil filter, and the battery, and then do a little bit of wiring. But this is what it's like. Ah, it's pretty sick. It's nice. And the chain, you know, the pivot point is not. Uh, why dirt bikes chains doesn't uh, loosen a lot is because the pivot point is so close to the uh, sprocket on the engine. But like the Trailmaster was off like this, and you never kick a chain. It'll loosen a little bit in the suspension travel, but it never gets loose enough to kick the chain. This one's the same way. It barely loosens. We have it fully tightened. We'll have to retighten it once we ride it, but it doesn't. Like you can barely move it once I jump on it. That's pretty sick. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's really comfortable. Braxton, come give her a set. The seat kind of slid. Probably won't even like, well, a little, little bit. But it's huge though. Hey! And we can ride double in the dunes. <laughs> Hold me up, Braxton, go! <laughs> it's glassing on the treasure. You really could ride. I wouldn't trust the welds on this rack to hold two people, but uh, that'd be pretty cool to put back pegs. Is the suspension squatting quite a bit? Uh huh. No. Oh no, we got tons. Really? Yep. <laughs> so there she is, full suspension mini bike, ready to rip. Uh, well, not ready to rip, obviously. The original brake is hooked up on the rear. Uh, I just need to. Uh, fix the line out of harm's way uh it's ready if you ride like braxton yeah braxton rides his dirt bike down the hill at home he's dreaming he's dreaming. not anymore i'll put it up I'll oh yeah it up. season over yeah <laughs> <laughs> downhill, so, oh you, know, you know like those uh have you ever watched that downhill unicycle i mean yeah you know, so was down a hill, it's like a mountain unicycle, you know, and he like, oh, yeah. he like goes down and smacks a tree with his head. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I gotta get this. Okay, so uh, on the front brake, we haven't put the front brake back on because my brother's making me a hub adapter. Then we can slap it on, find out our disc, uh, you know, our caliper mounting. The factory caliper mounts right to these forks, but we may have to extend it back for the size disc I'm running. I'm running a lot larger disc. What does that see? So uh, stay tuned. The next video you're going to get on this build is me taking apart the shredder engine, uh, breaking a stud off in the block, extracting that stud, and swapping the crankshaft out because uh, the shredder engine comes with a half key crankshaft. So I had them send me another crankshaft because it is a special one. My brother keyed it, and uh, we're going to swap that out. You'll see frustrations. You'll see us grow as human beings, and then we'll put the engine back together. So uh, Go Power Sports has these cans. This is a six inch long one. They also sell. Or this is an eight inch long one they also sell a six inch one um we're going to move the bung to back here we're actually just going to cap this one off and weld a new one on back here and just for now we're going to run it'll fit don't look like it but it will you know it's just barely it's sitting there that way, I thought. i'm not done two i'm done one but it'll have one gas tank there it's not a huge gas tank but until we get either build one ourselves or get one built uh, a custom gas tank that's what we're going to run so Stay tuned for the next video on the engine build. Tell me what you think of this Monster Moto 212 Extended Edition lift kit style. And, uh, you know, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Merry Christmas to everybody. Follow us um, on social media and you'll get, you could have seen this thing finished before, um, before it came out. Sorry again about the swing arm. You know, life happens, stuff happens. Uh, we'll be building another one exactly like it on another bike and we'll film everything. How about that? All right. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. God bless. 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 Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal.
hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode and go check us out on facebook instagram snapchat and pinterest to stay up to date with the channel guys always come back to redbeard's garage i'm out